Hey guys, it's Josh from Strange Angel Films. Uh, I wanted to take a second here to talk about dynamic range as it relates to some of the new cameras that are coming out. And so we wanted to take the FS7, the Amira, and the Ursa and see how they did in dynamic range. And just for comparison, we took the C300. So in layman's terms, dynamic range is the distance between the lightest light that a camera can see and the darkest dark that a camera can see. And what you're getting when you have a camera with good dynamic range is the ability to go into a wide variety of lighting situations and get a decent looking shot. So we took a very, we did a very simple comparison shot. We took, set each camera up and then we shot our model uh, with a chip chart behind him and a really bright light bulb on the other shoulder. So let's look at the footage. I'll show them here uh, individually and then side by side so you can get a sense. Um, and then once that's over, I'll be back and I'll let you know what we thought we saw in the footage. So, uh, this is just our interpretation of, uh, of what we saw. I'd love to hear anybody that's watching his comments. Without it, not a surprise at all, the Amira did very, very well. This is a $60,000 camera. It comes from the Alexa line, so it's not a surprise at all that it would have really good dynamic range. Next best, or probably as good as the Amira, was that FS7, which is really impressive because that's a sub $10,000 camera. Added to a lot of the other really nice things that that FS7 has going on, and that makes it a really impressive camera. The C300, despite being even a few years ago, it was a, it was one of the better cameras on the market in that price range for dynamic range. As you can see, it really does fall apart. The worst one was obviously the Ursa. That should tell you a little something about uh, how these things are calculated, because when you see you know the literature for these cameras, every single one of them claims that they have 12 or 13 stops or a similar amount of, of of dynamic range. But often when you see in a practical test maybe the way they were sending it up their numbers or whatever, they don't really add up uh, to what you get in reality. Uh, I would, again, I would love to hear what, what the, you guys think about it. There'll be screen grabs available from the website and in and and the blog post that'll go along with this video if you really wanna get in and look at the, the details. Um, I hope you guys found this as interesting as we did. Uh, please feel free to give us a call or email if you have any other questions about any of these cameras. And uh, thanks for watching.